Hello all, welcome to this playlist. In this one, we will be building a multi-agent models. So what we'll be doing is that we are trying to build multi-agent models through LangChain. So you must have heard of LangChain probably. So this is currently, I'm on their GitHub repo. So LangChain has their uh, library called LangGraph, which helps us building multi-agent workflows. So what you can do is that you can represent your multi-agent workflows in the form of graph. Uh, through the combination of nodes and edges so it's the classic graph data structure which we have read previously this library tries to mock that architecture and tries and like helps the developers to build their multi-agent workflows with that so we have the concepts of graph edges conditional edges shared state and lot which i'll be discussing in the future episodes in this playlist but this is just an introductory video where i'll be covering what we are trying to do here in this playlist so yeah, this what we are doing is that we are trying to build multi-agent or multi-actor applications through LangGraph. Uh, what we are trying to build here is that we will be trying to implement a rack. And apart from that, we will also try to grade the performance of the implemented rack. So I have uh, previously written an article on rack as well, where I have explained how you can build a rack from scratch. So what we do is that we basically provide an external knowledge base and we ground the LLM model on the basis of that knowledge base and then we send the human prompt to that model and get the answer back on the basis of that knowledge base. So it can be an updated knowledge base. It can be a very uh, personal or uh, a certain knowledge base or a document which is away from the internet, right? We can ground our models privately on those. So that is the concept here of RAG and we'll try to build this in this playlist we'll walk through the code walkthrough what we are doing here so this is my github profile i have implemented uh, different flavors of rag in this repo and if you go into the source there are different flavors probably in this playlist we will be working with distributed systems rag so if you go to this it will be implemented in typescript actually so all of these things we will be covering in this entire playlist and if you go down you will see this is the graph we have currently you will see multiple nodes and multiple edges right these nodes are connected through edges we have concept of conditional edges right a lot of things are there so this is the part which we are trying to see here and at the end we're gonna visualize this entire graph so i can uh, probably sh show you folks how we can actually visualize so this is one of the uh, library called moment and i have put my graph which we have uh, displayed here over here in order to see how it looks actually in action so you can see the mermaid has uh, built us a graph kind of structure here where we start from the start node then we move to the retrieve docs so we will be implementing each and every node in different different episodes of this playlist so the retrieve docs will be retrieving the document from the url and then it will be putting that in the vector store and then we will later uh, pull the document pull the relevant document from the vector store after that, we will create an OpenAI model in this node. And this is a separate node because we want the created model to be available everywhere inside different nodes. It We want this to be a shared object between multiple nodes actually to basically optimize our graphs. Then we will be creating the document, whatever relevant document we are pulling from the vectors today will create that here. And then after that, we will gonna generate, we're gonna build a rack which will generate the answers on the basis of this external knowledge base that is the retrieve docs and after generating we're gonna create the answers so we'll basically see how our rack performed so we'll basically create the performance of our rack we'll see how the answer is relevant to the question asked and at the end we're gonna end the graph so this is the entire pro we'll be discussing here in this entire playlist